would you call a man who climbs Mount Everest? Possibly a hero. What would you call a man who wins a marathon race? Maybe a hero again. What would you call the man who invented the very first steam engine? Well, if you called him hero, you'd be absolutely correct, because that was his name, Hero of Alexandria, a Greek engineer who lived around about 2,000 years ago, about the time of Christ, and he made the very first steam engine. And it was a strange looking contraption that looked a bit like this. The container at the bottom contained water. A fire was placed underneath it, the water boiled, and the steam went up the two vertical tubes into the sphere, the metal sphere at the top, then issued out of two jets, and the sphere would spin around and around and around and around, and the people from the town would gather and sit around and just watch it. It didn't do anything in particular, it was just a toy. That was Hero's steam engine. It took months to make. Here's the three minute version that you can make. Here's what you'll need. You'll need a metal drink can to begin with, preferably the kind that has two holes in the top. You'll also need a strong rubber band that's a little bit smaller in diameter than the drink can. You'll need one of these wire devices that are used to close garbage bags, piece of cotton thread about um, half a metre long, two pieces of strong plastic tape, and you'll also need a skewer. That's the tool with which you're going to make the engine. Oh, and you'll also need some water, which will go inside it. Here's what you do. Start with a drink can and make a very, very small hole about halfway up the can on one side. Let's try it about here. Now, with the skewer, you won't need to press very hard at all if it's an aluminium can. You keep pushing it until you feel the point just go in and then bend that hole back towards yourself. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm making a little jet that'll push the steam out in this direction. Now turn it right over and do the same thing exactly opposite. Very small hole, don't push too hard at all. And when the point goes through, bend it back in this direction here. Now we have two jets, both pointing backwards. Okay, that's the first part of the engine. Now, next thing we need to do is to place some water, not too much, about a centimetre or two in the bottom of the can. There we are. Now his sphere, of course, was perfectly sealed. And we have to do the same thing with this. To do that, we need to get rid of the water in the top and then place the two little pieces of tape over those holes, making sure that they seal completely the can. There's one, and there's the second one. At this point, you're probably saying to yourself, why on earth do we need rubber bands and cotton and all those other things? Well, that's to make a suspension device, which I've already put together here. You see what I've done? I've taken the garbage bag closing wire, and I've hooked it around the rubber band on opposite sides, then I've tied the cotton thread to the top of that. Now if I stretch the rubber band around the top of that can, in this position here, press it firmly into that ridge that's just there, I should find that I can hold the can and it's fairly well balanced. There it is there. Now the next thing to do is to take it over to the stove. By the way, you'll need an adult to help you do this, to supervise. Turn the gas stove on moderately fast, or you can use an electric stove if you want to. Gas is a little faster. There it is. And then carefully sit the can on top of the stove like this and watch carefully the jets at the side, waiting for steam to issue. This may take a couple of minutes. Now, at this point, steam is coming rapidly out of those two holes, but you can't see it because steam is invisible. What you can see are two clouds of tiny water droplets because steam very rapidly changes back into drops of water when it hits the cold air. But you can see the effect, the whole thing spins around madly. And it does this, of course, because for every milliliter of water that you began with, after boiling, you end up with more than 1,600 milliliters of steam. So you get a great increase of pressure inside that little can, and it spins around. Hero's engine was not only the first steam engine, it was the first jet engine. And the people sat around for hours enjoying it. You'll have hours of fun with your model of Hero's steam engine.